Welcome to the car guys and welcome to the Half Moon at Curdford where we have a very special celebration going on. It's the 20th anniversary of the Pagani Zonda. If you want to see some of the rarest, most expensive, most exquisite cars in the world, join us for this amazing celebration. What we have here is a collection of some of the finest and rarest Zondas in existence. Many, many different variants. We thought we'd bring you along to see this very, very special gathering. The original Zonda C12 was the six litre V12 AMG car. That was launched in 1999. So all these cars here have been made between 1999 and the final one, finally, was launched in 2019. Can you believe it? Way, way after the line was supposedly finished, and long into the production of its successor, the Huayra. This silver beauty right here is a Zonda S. The two big boys to look out for are the 7 litre S and the 7.3. This is a 7.3, develops just under 700 brake horsepower. This is the car that actually broke the Nürburgring record of 7 minutes 44 seconds and really put Pagani on the map. There were 16 7 litre cars built and 17 7.3 litre coupes. Very, very rare car. This is an incredible original looking car. There's been some small modifications made, but it is largely stock and therefore highly prized because many Zondas have been upgraded and changed to F-spec or Cinque spec or had bizarre modifications made to them. And you'll see some more of those in a minute. Is there a more distinct rear end in cars than this? The quad tailpipes of the Zonda and just the sheer stance of the thing. I mean, look at it. It's such a magnificent looking car. It's always been on my bucket list. I would love one of these cars, but values are going through the roof. I love the two little winglets on the back. I love the swooping body. I love the wing mirrors, everything about this car. What a fabulous interior. Look at the interior of this one. This has got beautiful sort of cappuccino leather interior, very soft leather perforated, matched with the gloss carbon, which has actually been helpfully PPF'd. You've got the steel plates. Everything's a mixture of sort of Buck Rogers tech and then the soft smoking jacket, smoking room of a fine chateau. Now you see, this is a sensible thing. You see, trust Pagani to come up with this. Right down here, this little special guard, which means if you accidentally bring the car forward and you touch a wall or something, it's gonna hit this first. It's not gonna damage all that beautiful carbon fiber. Clever thinking, Ferrari, take note. This being the half moon, obviously, at Curdford, you don't get normal fish and chips here or normal roast beef. You get something a little bit special. Oh, yeah. Now, this is an exceptionally special car, one of five Cinque Roadsters. There were five coupes and five Roadsters, and this is one of the Roadsters, so the roof comes off it. It's utterly desirable. You can see this one is in a sort of pearl white, it's got lots of extra bits built onto it, so you can see these little sort of extra aerofoils and sort of little funnels and tubes all over this car. It's got 670 brake horsepower, and it's got a six-speed sequential paddle shift gearbox. I mean, just look at it. It's so aggressive and yet also so elegant. What an incredible car. This car, as you can see here, has got a dazzling red interior, so a combination of very soft materials and leather. Look, look at the roof scoop on it. Really, really nice. There's a car with an even more elongated roof scoop that we'll get to in just a moment. Now this is one of the most special Zondas that we have here. This is the Zonda Oliver Evolution, named after the owner's son. This is a car that's, that's been upgraded to a 760S status. It has one of the most crazy two stacked wings that you'll see on any Pagani. Just check it out, it's absolutely bonkers. Currently finished in a sort of satin grey paintwork and you can see it's had extensive mods, but mainly check out the roof scoop on this thing. And also these little winglets, look, look at that. Lovely little design touch. And LED front lights look, so LEDs, lights to complement the rest of it. Behold, the Zonda F. The F stands for Fangio. This is one of the Roadsters, so this is an exceptionally rare car as well. Debuted in 2006. You wanna know what the brake horsepower is of this? Just under 600. 
but you can easily do it. It's a right hand drive manual as well. And here we have a couple of classic Zonda S's. This one in a stunning blue colour. I definitely spent a long time playing with a car just like this in Forza Motorsport on the Xbox. It's a beautiful classic Zonda blue paintwork. And if you can look at the inside here, again, full manual car, lovely beige interior. Pretty much the same car in yellow. Look how good it looks in yellow. So again, manual car. This is an S and this is a Roadster. Look at that. See? Just so good to see a Zonda S in hardtop and Roadster form right next to each other. You just never see this. And then here's the Huayra. Don't know about you, but I've never really gelled with the Huayra shapes. Never really attracted me, unlike the Zonda. I love the blue of this car. It's such a classic. I think the Zonda S is definitely the one that I think that I would have. Very classic shape, very clean lines. Very, very exceptional car. Happy birthday, Pagani Zonda. You're 20 today. Cheeky Brabus 4x4 there, always nice. Downside of Pagani's is of course the uh, turning circle. Zonda F being driven through the streets of Curdford Lake. Here it is. This is the Oliver Evolution. The most special. It's got an even worse turning circle than the normal car. Look at it though. Look at it. Silver or dark satin grey with carbon. It's got that enormous, outrageous wing. That huge roof scoop, just check it out, look at that. How often do you see that moving? And then there was one. All the other cars have gone off for a rally somewhere around Goodwood. Uh, we've had a fantastic day here meeting the owners and seeing all of these unique awesome cars. It's a shame that Horatio had to go and head back to Italy but uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the different types of cars and learning a bit about them and more importantly you hearing them drive off. Would I have a Zonda? Absolutely yes. I have to say seeing all the cars here I'm less interested in the super adorned festooned versions. I'm really not interested in those. I think the Zonda S the 7.3 Zonda S is, is probably my bag. I would say that's the one that I would want. There's been a few examples here. I'm not interested in the Roadster. I'd want to go for the hardtop, but it's, um, yeah, very, very special, special car. And I think this car may well be the pick of the bunch for me. Thanks for watching this episode, guys, of the Pagani Celebration here at the Half Moon Curdford. Please subscribe and help us build up the channel and make even better videos in the future. Leave likes and comments. We'd read every single one, and we'll join you for another episode next week.